We expect more than 350 EU policymakers and stakeholders to join us on June the 25th in raising a glass in well-deserved recognition of the hard work of Parliament's deputies. We are delighted that once again Commission Vice President Maros Cefkovic has agreed to host the Parliament Magazine's MEP Awards. I'm glad that also this year I will be able to host another ceremony where we are going to present the awards uh, to the MEPs who are the most uh, appreciated by their colleagues. Uh, well, um, the members of the European Parliament are doing a fantastic job uh, for the citizens of the European Union and I do believe that the MEPs award is a fantastic opportunity to bring that uh, to the uh, public uh, arena, to give it a bit of visibility and also to connect back to the European citizens and to make the work of these people a reality back in their constituencies. It has come as a surprise uh, to me as a chair of the Committee for Regional Development. I think if I'm finally the, the winner, uh, I think that this should uh, go to the, to the committee. I am extremely proud of what we have achieved over the uh, four years. We have managed to work together even in very difficult moments. We have developed, thanks to this spirit of cooperation, extremely good relations with other European institutions. But the most important thing, we have prepared very well to negotiating with the Council the new regional policy. We are about to conclude the negotiations and we will offer uh, to the citizens of the European Union a better policy that will improve the quality of their life. Bonjour à tous. Être nominé pour le titre de député européen de l'année dans la catégorie développement régional signifie beaucoup pour moi. Nouvel élu en 2009, je me suis consacré au développement de la cohésion territoriale et de la coopération transfrontalière. Je viens d'une région à la frontière franco-espagnole. Je sais que l'Europe se vit et s'incarne dans ces zones qui sont souvent perçues comme des zones de compétition et de fracture. Pourtant, je suis persuadée que c'est en combinant nos forces que nous pourrons relever nos défis communs. J'ai été rapporteur pour l'avenir de la coopération territoriale en 2011 et suis actuellement rapporteur PPE sur le nouveau règlement pour 2014. J'ai organisé une délégation de députés à la frontière espagnole l'année dernière. J'ai inauguré les Journées européennes de la coopération en 2012 et créé un groupe de liaisons transfrontaliers au Parlement. J'ai besoin de votre soutien pour transformer l'essai. C'est simple, faites-le en votant pour moi. Merci encore. Je dirais que c'était surprenant de savoir que j'étais shortlisté pour l'un des MEP dans le comité régional de développement. Mais bien sûr, c'est toujours bon de savoir que votre travail est being recognized. And uh, to be in such a good company as uh, Danut and uh, Marie Therese, so thank you all for nominating me. For me, it's uh, uh, really a, a, an honor and a privilege to have been uh, shortlisted because it represents that my work, especially in the, in the area of the outermost regions of the, United, of the European Union, such as Madeira, where I come from, uh, is being noted in the European Parliament, and that is always a way to pay a tribute to all the people that trusted their vote in me and their confidence in order to defend their interests in the European Parliament. Not everybody could be a winner, of course, but I think that uh, every nomination is clear, uh, clear demonstrations of the high appreciation of the work of the concrete MEPs uh, uh, by their colleagues, and therefore I would like to congratulate uh, to all of them.